yesterday I went to teach this storytelling workshop uh, with a group of third, fourth, and fifth graders. Uh, shout out to Ashley McCall. Uh, when I got there, they had already been working on their stories for a few classes uh, under the themes of good neighbor and neighborhood violence, which personally I found to be ironic given uh, this project. But the range of stories that these kids told were were honestly mind-boggling. I couldn't help but think back to this park, uh, Boswell Park, where I grew up and spent almost all of my time during the third and fourth and fifth grade. Uh, one kid in particular told a story about a time his mom almost got shot when a scuffle broke out at the park across the street from the house. And he asked me, why is my neighborhood so unsafe? How do you fucking tell a kid that the neighborhood is unsafe due to uh, an intersection of, of racialized and economic violence? How do you explain to a third grader what gentrification and redlining is? How do you tell them that the great migration produced thousands of neighborhoods of low opportunity and high desperation. I explain to kid that the neighborhood is unsafe because their country doesn't give a shit about kids of color. Has never given a shit about kids that look like them. So between white flight and, and tearing down the projects, they, they just pushed everybody into these neighborhoods of low of expectation, high depression. Of course, I didn't explain all that to the kid because when I was in the third and fourth grade in this park, this place that was simultaneously the safest and most dangerous place in my neighborhood, I didn't know all of those things. How you look at a room full of beautiful smart, positive kids and not be heartbroken knowing that they're growing up and starting to realize uh, something's a little bit off. 